Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing how you can install Miniconda and Jupyter Notebook on Windows 11 for Python development. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First, we'll download the Miniconda installer. So go ahead and search for Miniconda. And then click on the first link. From this page, we will download the Windows installer. As you can see, there are several installer. We'll install the one for Windows. So let's download it. As you can see, download has been finished. So let's go to the folder. And then we'll simply double click it. So from this installation window, we'll click on next, agree the license, and then you can install it for your user or for all users. So we'll be installing it for just me. So click on next. You can also specify the location. I will leave the default. Click on next. Then you have some options. So we'll create a start menu shortcuts. So if this is your first installation, it's better to add Miniconda to the path environment variable. So check this option. And also we'll use this as the default Python. And then we can also clear if you have any residue from other installations. All right, then simply click on install. So it will go ahead and install Miniconda for us. As you can see, the installation is completed. So click on next and we'll click on finish. All right, we have installed Miniconda, so let's check it out. As you can see, we already have some Anaconda prompt, which is the bigger version of Miniconda. You can also access them by clicking all apps and then look for Miniconda. As you can see, it's right there. And from here, you can also launch Anaconda or Miniconda command prompt, either PowerShell or the simple command prompt. So we'll click on this one. As you can see, we can readily access our Miniconda base environment. So if we type Conda dash V, we'll see the version of our Conda installation. In this case, Conda 23.11. And we can also access Python from this window. So type Python, press enter. As you can see, we are inside Python console. And, I, and we can perform some Python program. All right, so everything is working fine. So let's get out of it. So to get out of it, we'll type exit. Yes, now let me clear the window. All right, now that we have installed Miniconda, we'll go ahead and install Jupyter Notebook. So to do that, we'll install Notebook on a different environment. So we'll create that one first. To create a new virtual environment, we'll simply type Conda, then create dash n for name. We'll give the environment a name. Let's call it Py310 for Python 3.10. And we'll specify the version as well. So type Python equals to 3.10. Press enter. And this new environment will be created. Press enter again. As you can see, we have successfully created Py310 environment. So we'll simply activate it. To do that, simply copy this line and then paste it. Press enter again. As you can see, now our new virtual environment has been activated. So now we'll quickly install Jupyter Notebook. Let me clear the window first. To install Jupyter Notebook, we'll simply type pip install notebook. Press enter. All 
Awesome, Jupyter Notebook has been installed. Now we can access it. So let me clear the window first. To access Jupyter Notebook, we'll simply type Jupyter Notebook on this console. So type Jupyter and then Notebook. Press enter. It will go ahead and open the server for us. All right, select a browser to open it. And as you can see, Jupyter Notebook window has been opened. Cool, now we'll select a directory to create a notebook file. Let's go ahead inside our desktop and I will create a new directory here. So click on new folder, give it a name. Let's call it notebook. Press enter, go inside this directory. And there we'll create a new notebook file. Click on new, then click on notebook. Select the Python kernel. In this case, we'll be using Python 3. So leave it as it is and click on select. All right, now we can write our Python code in this notebook file. So let's test it out. So type something there. Press shift enter to run this code. As you can see, we are able to perform some calculations or you can also press this run button to run any Python code that you will be writing in this notebook. Anyway, this was a quick video for quick installation of Miniconda and also Jupyter Notebook. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.